I welcome you all in today's session. We are celebrating Women's Day this year by spreading awareness about cancer detection and care. The theme of this program is Yes, I can detect cancer early. Yes, I can survive cancer. In this series of events, we are talking to various field experts about early cancer detection and care for women. Cancer is a disease that has potential to debilitate the life of a person physically, emotionally and economically in a manner other ailments can. Women are custodians of our family health, playing a critical role in maintaining the health and well-being of our communities. In other words, healthy women will ensure healthy families, healthy communities and a healthy nation. Hello, I welcome you all in today's session. Uh, we are talking to Dr. Anuradha Chokle, who is professor and faculty scientist and consultant at Tata Memorial Hospital in Mumbai. Welcome Dr. Chokle for being part of this program today. Thank you, Dr. Rashid Ursh. So my first question is, cancer is considered a genetic disease and what does it mean uh, for a, uh, the general population and also if cancer is inherited? Yes, uh, somewhat cancer is uh, a genetic disease. Uh, either it can be a somatic or it can be inherited disease. When I say somatic, that means I say there are some sporadic changes because of the environment. Uh, which causes the genetic change or change in the sequence uh, which causes the cancer and it can be as an inherited one because you can see that some, one of the both the uh, genes uh, inherited genes come from the parents and in this most of the BRCA gene are also carried to the uh, progeny so but uh, as I said the BRCA genes can be a normal one as well but if you find there is a genetic change or mutation in that inherited BRCA gene sequencing, then we call it as an inherited uh, cancer disease. Or for that matter, in terms of breast cancer, it can be a breast cancer disease. Okay. So is inherited genetic testing is for all the women or how does uh, a woman decide on to go for a screening? For yeah. So as I said, um, I mentioned over here that about 5 to 10 percent breast cancer only um, are uh, comes as a hereditary, meaning that they result directly from the gene changes which are passed on from a parent. So if two or more first degree relatives with like mother, sister and daughter with breast cancer are diagnosed at an uh, uh, early age, then we say that this is an inherited cancer gene. So. Yeah, uh, everyone has two copies of BRCA1 and BRCA2 but however as I mentioned earlier if there is a change in the uh, gene sequence then we call it as an inherited so it can help if they have, have a hereditary inherited gene change and this can this change can make them such more likely to get a breast cancer or uh, ovarian cancer in the woman so yeah so ma'am, you mentioned about uh, BRCA genes in uh, respect to uh, breast cancer. So does BRCA gene is found in everyone's body? Yeah, a BRCA gene is present in everyone, but, uh, it, but it can be a normal sequence. But if at all there is a change in the sequence, which has got inherited from the parent, then we say that there is an inherited uh, breast cancer and not a uh, somatic uh, breast cancer. Okay. So, but uh, for that matter, mm -hmm. we need to, if the patient ha has a tumor, then we need to do the somatic BRCA testing. And then we need to look for, if the BRCA1 is present, then we need to look for the uh, inherited blood test. So to identify whether it is a germline uh, mutation. Okay, so somatic testing should be considered as a first line test to detect the best cancer. Right. Yes, somatic mute. Uh, I mean, somatic mutation should be considered as a first line testing, and then we should go for the germline testing. But if there is a strong family history, mm -hmm. uh, like mother or grandmother or so, then we should also at the same time we should look for the germline testing. Thanks. So uh, uh, this uh, brings me to the final question of my today's session. So, what will be your message to women regarding cancer care, especially on this uh, Women's Day? Yeah. It will be my strong advice for the women who are very busy in their day-to-day -day activity that they should spend at least five to ten minutes for their own self-assessment. Like as I can say, we should follow, we should observe the things like a lump in your uh, lump in or near your breast or under your arm, changes in the size or shape of your breast, 
dimpling puckering or bulging of the skin a nipple that has changed position or an inverted nipple it, there can be a skin redness or soreness or rash and the swelling so the, or also we can observe that if there is a nipple discharge which could be watery milky or yellow fluid or blood so or the recent um, uh, i think reddishness should be also point to be taken into consideration okay thank you uh, dr chokla for being part of today's session thank you very much for joining us thank you so much thank you